So that we can head up here and grab ourselves the samurai body armor. Now in the, the later versions this is the Genji equipment, but still. Samurai! You get from 62.14 to 64.17. That one's quite a marked improvement. Cecil is becoming a little bit of a beast, to be honest with you. Can Edge equip any of his old stuff? No, he can't equip... well... Not that, because that one's not there. He can't equip the armor. No, I didn't think so. Ninjas cannot wear anything that Samurais can wear. Let's head over here and grab ourselves. Probably more Genji equipment, to be honest with you. But first we have a Bone Dragon. It says Dragon Bone for whatever reason. And a Warlock. And the Warlock, of course, utterly decimates Edge. Just to start the battle, to be honest with you. He is not nice to me whatsoever. What can I use on these guys? Uh, I, no, I don't want to size them. I would love to piggy them if that would work. And of course the Bone Dragon inflicts poison as well. Oh, he's got Psych. Good for you. You know what I have? Fire. I hope you enjoy it. Ah, these things are hitting hard. Oh, screw your drain go just regular attacks. Why not just regular attacks? <laughs> okay, Camp Piggy. Go Fire 3. Like I said, I, I don't want to use all of Fusoya's magic if I don't have to. Good lord, these guys do a lot of damage. Down goes the Bone Dragon now. Lightning 2. He used the on the wrong guy, though. Hooray, right, is back to full. Now we can focus on the Warlock. This is me using Excalibur. You have to keep that in mind. Down goes the other Warlock. It doesn't look like I actually need to heal, though. Uh, we get 9,150 gills, 6,280 experience. Still no level ups. I do need to cure the poison, though. Right after I grab this Samurai Helmet, which will go on... Well, that'll go on Cecil as well. Now, uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's just heal. Let's just do this real fast on the screen. Okay. Cecil! Put on the helmet! You are now the Genji Warrior! 6417, 6521. So now he's got quite a good bit of magic defense to go along with his physical defense. Now we can head up here, but not before getting into. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And let's continue going north here. And this, unfortunately, is a forced encounter. Uh, we're up against the behemoth here. Oh, God, I hate behemoths. And that's why. Now, unfortunately, there's not much I can do in terms of trying to get him to die quickly. Uh, so I'm just going to have to use some strong some strong magics against him. Let's try to use virus on him. And then you can go ahead and use uh, lightning 3. Virus didn't do that much. Doesn't even look like it poisoned him, to be honest with you. Let's keep attacking. I might be under-leveled now that I'm seeing things here uh, for, this, uh, for this dungeon. And if so, I'll, I'll do some level grinding off-screen. Good lord, does he hit hard. Alright, do you, ha you don't have Cure 4, do you? You do! Let's use that! Let's use the thing that might actually, like, help. Uh, can't use Meteo. Let's see Nuke. I don't have enough uh, MP for, for Meteo anymore. Go Nuke. For 3,575. God, this guy hits hard, though. In fact, let's call something. Let's call Leviathan. Why not? God, just so damn hard. No, we're going to need a cure for here again. Unfortunately. And this could be a huge drain on my MP. I definitely need to be using some ethers after this. And down goes the behemoth. 
We get 65,000 gil, 1,100, sorry, not 1,000, 11,740 experience. That was an extra digit and I got confused. <laughs> Righty gains a level. Cecil gains a level. And that's it? Really? Just the two? I definitely need to heal after that, though. Okay, I actually uh, used the exit spell uh, because I was having uh, so much trouble with the behemoths. Uh, so I used the exit spell, went back to the, the big whale, lunar whale, and uh, traveled all the way back here, uh, running from all the fights. Uh, that way I should have as much MP as I require. Let's head on to the next level. To basement 3F. And there's nothing over here, so I see a narrow hallway, which probably means another behemoth fight, as expected. Now, when you come back, you don't have the behemoth fights to go through again, so if you want to wuss out like me, feel free, but that's how I can do this at the, uh, the levels that I am right now. And pretty much right now seems to be the only way that I can do it at the levels that I am right now. Let's go for a fire three because that seemed to do more than uh, the Leviathan did for whatever reason. Now I know, holy crap, uh, that there's actually a few of these fights. Wow, that did crap all. Let's use cure three again. Damn. Uh, you can use uh, cure two on. Just right here, there. She does need the extra healing. He does have uh, quite a bit, quite a quick turnaround on some of the spells, though. He definitely does. Damn. Okay, uh, let's go for Ice 3. Hopefully, that does more than Fire. I swore that uh, we were doing okay when it came to that, to be honest with you. In terms of damage and all that kind of stuff. But we seem to be having a little trouble with these behemoths. I don't like that. Not in the slightest. Go Ice 3. There we go. Ice definitely does a lot more damage. And, uh, yeah, you can't change them or anything like that. Good lord. Let's go for Cure 3s across the board again. You keep doing damage, Cecil. You do what you do. Which is slice. That is what I ask of you. Oh, God, Edge, you need some defense on you. Let's go. No. Whoa. All right, so we took them down again. Nicely done. Those are required, and they're tough, so I keep these in. You get Rosa gained a level. Edge gained a level as well. But as you can clearly see, I need to heal again. All right, let's keep going. Another small, narrow hallway. No, no fight there. Uh-oh, here's another one, though. I see it coming up. The, these vertical ones are usually where they are. We have another behemoth. Uh, I will keep this one on as well, uh, just because these are technically sub-bosses, mini-bosses, which is still kind of new to the game, to be honest with you. So, down. No, he doesn't go down. How did he not go down? I swore that was enough for it to kill him. Okay, I will take it. If you could use, like, Lightning 3, that'd be greatly appreciated. But how much is, uh... Yeah, we need to use Lightning 3. Sorry, I'm thinking ahead here, when I really shouldn't. I need to be focusing on the fight that I have in front of me. You know, if, if worse comes to worse, because, like I said, these are mini-bosses, worse comes to worse, and I can't take out the boss, I could always just leave and, you know, get all my MP back. Damn! Fusoya, why you get hit so damn hard all the time? Just careful, there it is. Rose is probably going to need to be casting all my spells for me. See, yeah, look at the difference between Fusoya and Rydia there, in terms of damage output on Behemoth. That was the same spell. That's ridiculous. Yeah, so you're practically useless. You, uh, you, you, your primary function is now to heal, since you can't do that much damage. Okay, yeah, I had to change his HP. We couldn't let him stay there when he is so clearly not. But that said, good lord, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> oh god, over half, over half. 
pure fours across the board, please. The hell is oh, he's also got holy, which is white in this game. Uh, not that I'm gonna necessarily need that. Uh, is that gonna be enough for the victory? No. All right, let's go for a cure too. You could use that. Once again, Fusoya, your primary purpose is apparently to heal, and not even that well, to be honest with you. Not as good as Rosa. He's like, an, he's like a red mage. He doesn't do anything that well. But for that, we get 65,000 gil. Yeah, same, same thing. We get a ton of gil out of this. Fusoya gains a level. Hooray. Does he get more MP? That's really the only thing I care about. Uh, no. No, of course not. He's like Tella that way, I assume. Okay. Uh, do need to heal. Once again, now that everybody's back to full HP at least, we are ready to move on. We have kids! What are you kids doing here? Did you see the behemoths? What do I need? Oh, you're a half? What do you mean I'm a half? Oh, I guess Cecil technically would be half Lunarian, half... Are you serious? A random fight? Really, game? A random encounter between the kids? Where we clearly have... Somebody up there? Fine. We'll just go up there and talk to him. How are you doing? What could you possibly be? I mean, here in Cave Bahamut. So you have to feed Leviathan. But it could have been done without the power of light. Whether you possess the true light or not, I, Bahamut, the king of us monsters, will judge. Uh oh. We got a new claim, in, claim to the throne in Bahamut here. Now, this fight can be very difficult, and it requires kind of precise timing here, to be honest with you. I'm going to wait just a little bit here. There we go. I'm going to wait for him to get to four, and then I'm going to start casting wall on everybody. Uh, hopefully I can get this up and running, and it'll stay long enough uh, for... Well, him to finish his countdown. Uh, this is the first time that we're going to be seeing Bahamut use the countdown. Uh, spoiler alert, this is not the last time Bahamut uses the countdown. Um, in the series, I should say. He does use this in later games. Uh, of course, the name for this one is changed uh, compared to the later games. Now, I do need Rosa to get her turn off very soon here. Rosa! I need you to get a turn. You go wall. Because I need you to put a wall up on Radia. Come on. Get the wall up. Did he count down to one yet? He didn't. Hooray. Now the wall is up and I believe it is still on everybody. Hopefully it lasts. Sometimes it doesn't. It, there's a very short window when you can get wall on everybody, but I got it to work and he uses Mega Nuke, which reflects off of us thanks to the wall and does max damage to him. Now that is a spell that pretty much will instantly kill you if you let it hit you. So don't let it hit you. Instead, let it hit him. And we should be able to finish him from here. You just have to survive pretty much the main attack, and then he goes back to his previous form. He's going to start... Well, yeah, he's going to start the countdown again, but we're not going to let him, and we finish him off too quickly. We get 7,000 experience for that fight, and that's it. We don't get any, any gill, and nobody got a level up. I have indeed seen your strength and will. You can call my name when you need my help right here. And we have learned the Bahamut Summon! So now it's time to get out of here! Which I will be doing! And I'll see you guys back on the Big Whale next time! Hope you guys have enjoyed this these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my astronaut party of Fusoya, Edge, Rosa, Cecil, and Rydia. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.